put uh, put your egg in there. No. You don't put no egg in there. No. I put it in the egg and put it in the bowl. Okay. You put your grapes in there. Yeah. Mm. You put broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else you gonna put in there? I need to go Okay. Are you all done? No, I'm yeah. not done. Oh. Yeah. oh. You're going to blend it up some? You're going to blend some yeah. up too? All right, girl. Go ahead and blend that top right up. Uh oh, Ooh, we're going to have some daiquiris going on, girl. Wait, top. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. the top. Well, we got the daiquiris going on here. Woo! All right, girl. Uh oh. Keep that lid on good, but you make a mess in here. Girl, we gotta put my drink in. Uh oh! Get it, girl. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh oh! Oh my gosh! Come the hell on. <laughs> That's what you were saying. Was there some parts in the front? Uh huh. She, um, Chantel just texted me. She said she's on the way. Okay. Man, you can see the girl. Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi. This is my Hi. cousin Shanika. Shanika, this is Chantel. Hi, Chantel. You look cute. You just nice. came from work. Yes. Oh, okay. She is a YouTube vlogger. I'm down in that behind the So we can do everything because that thing is long. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. And can I start us off with some appetizers? Do you want an appetizer, Brittany? Um, I, don't know. I like the coconut shrimp. It comes with like a citrus mustard on the side, or the firecracker shrimp. It has a little bit of a kick to it. It comes with like a sriracha meal. Most people compare it to bang bang shrimp from Bonefish and Grill. Oh, yeah. It's not that great, but it is up there. Can I get the chicken empanada? Show me what the appetizer is in here. It's Brittany. on page six and seven. Brittany, on page twelve. 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 Oh, none of this don't look good. What about yeah. the um? Do you want Jamaican chicken wings? Or, no. Uh, the jerk chicken wings. It's not the typical jerk. Like it's not gonna bring you to the beef empanada. Just get what y'all know. <laughs> beef empanada. You want Where is that at? Over right here. here. Um. Yeah. I, no. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to put food. Um. <laughs> Why y'all having y'all meeting? So you don't want any, um, no, you're not gonna leave anywhere. You're gonna stay here. So you what? don't want any chicken wings? The the you don't want no chicken wings? <laughs> no, I mean, I might eat one, but. So you want, so you do want empanadas. You'll eat really. empanadas and jerk chicken pasta? 
Man, it's it's all, the jet right, that's gonna be a lot. Well, no, you asked what I want. I said if I do to get anything, it'll be that, but it's not like I have to have them. So it's probably a note for us. Yeah, I just don't even want <laughs> so just chicken and never right say now. that. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll put that right here for you. Thank you. Okay, so Shanika, go ahead and right. I've kind of explained the show, but you can go ahead and explain it a little bit. Okay. So this is what it is. Okay, so it's a a production, right? And what he's done is he's gotten the master stylist in the industry. And when he say masters, he means like the who's who. You know what I mean? Like top notch people. So he chose a few barbers, a few models, a few makeup artists, a few hairstylists. But it's only the ones that like he, you know, feels like they're like master, they're a master of what they do at their craft. You know what I mean? What he did was, um, you know, he rented out like a ballroom or whatever, and it's going to be like a stage. And each person goes on the stage for a certain amount of time, and they have to showcase their craft. And so basically, you're going to basically be trying to prove why you're the best. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to be showcasing your skill. So he's throwing us in a competition type setting and there'll be a judge of a panel of judges and they're going to be like kind of um, judging you and then he's going to give out six different awards. So it'll probably be like two barbers, two models, two or like maybe no, not even two, but like one makeup artist. You know what I'm saying? One for each one. So he put my name on the flyer and said we want to do it and everything. But it's, I'm not really up for competition. Like, that's just not my thing. Like, if somebody asked me who they thought was the best makeup artist in Raleigh, I wouldn't even say myself. I would, like, nominate somebody else. That's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how I am. But he wants me to do it because he, he thinks highly of me. So I'm just like, okay. But, um, so what I was thinking, like, I didn't know what I was going to do. First of all, I didn't want to be beating no faces on stage. Like, that's just too... I feel like that's just too much, you know what I'm saying? Like, he said we get anywhere between 7 and 12 minutes on stage or something like that. And so one of his ideas was to have a makeup, uh, have someone already have their whole entire face kind of already done, but do like some finishing touches, like show them how to contour or show them how to fill in a brow real quick or something on stage. But I don't want to do anything as far as like actually doing makeup on stage. Like I just, that's, I don't want to do that. I don't want to bring my stuff and I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? So what I was thinking is like, I will get models and they their face will already be beat. You know, it'll already be done. Show. You know what I'm saying? Each model is going to have a different look, like a wedding look, a night out look, an everyday look. You know what I mean? So this is just one concept I have. The one whoever's going to do the model for the wedding look, I want her to have a wedding dress and a veil. So what's going to happen is, well, this is just an idea I'm throwing out there. Y'all can help me fine tune this, but she's going to, with the veil, I wanted her to have a... Um, a picture of her before Yeah, a face. picture of her before face on the veil. What is it called? What is it with a headshot? I want her to have a plain ba um, um, basic headshot on the veil, you know what I mean? Like tape to the veil. So then when she gets to the end of the runway, she gonna pull it up and reveal her wedding look. You get what I'm saying? You now my assistant was saying, she's not gonna be able to see, she gonna fall, she's gonna trip. How she, you know what I mean? And I don't really think about that stuff. That's why I have an assistant. That's why I have an intern. Because I got an idea. And then she was, little, she was like, well, you don't want to cut holes out of the eye. I said, that's gonna be looking very demonic. I got an I got an idea. We can tape it to a fan. Uh huh. And she can still see, but she can have the fan like this when she's walking. Uh huh. Um, like holding it like yeah, this. Not moving it. Not up. moving it, just holding the fan. So they can see her before playing face. And when she gets to the end of the runway and like do her pose, then lift up her veil. Yeah. She'll have still have her fan and she can pose, you know. I'm not doing the, the, the wedding look. <laughs> So it can either be you or Tawanda. <laughs> I want you to put your hands together for none other than this Shanika Montgomery with this makeup presentation.
I cannot believe y'all lost my eyes like that. That's messed up. Lost your eyes. My eyes. Have y'all watched the movie War Room? Uh-uh, mm -hmm. but do you have hey? Hey honey. Hey. How are you? I didn't know you were stopping by. <laughs> oh, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <Let me> get ready. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what you got going on tonight? Um, nothing much. Just um I'm gonna just chill and relax a little bit. I love your island. Thank you. Everything in here is nice. Look, where is my see this this was my cup right here. So somebody obviously poured oh, my eyes I out. Did. Yeah. I probably thought it was one of the kids. And remember to be considered for the riveting ray of the week to follow me on Instagram. And this week's riveting ray of the week is yeah! Tiffany Monique. And her Instagram name is I Love My Enemy. Go follow her guys. 